And here we go again. The Cleveland Browns are making another move to their linebacking room. Earlier this offseason, they added Jordan Hicks. But today, according to Adam Schefter, the Browns are signing former Steelers and Seahawks linebacker Devin Bush to a one-year deal. Now, I don't know what the compensation is right now, but I'll tell you at the very least, this is a low-risk, high-reward signing here for not only the Browns, but also for Devin Bush, who is a former, you know, high draft pick trying to revitalize his career. And I, could, I think Cleveland, who, you know, really needs a middle linebacker, at least needs the depth at middle linebacker. This is going to help them you know tremendously right and in this video we're gonna break down everything you need to know about Devin Bush obviously he was on the Steelers so you maybe you guys already know about him but I'm gonna make sure you guys know but before we dive into that do me a favor and comment down below a you know a letter grade for the Browns this offseason you know, they've added Winston, Naeem Hines, Quentin Jefferson this morning, Jordan Hicks, and also Tony Brown as well. So nothing really too big, but now add Devin Bush. Now we know this Browns team is ready to, you know, go on a huge playoff run. They also had Jerry Judy, by the way. Uh, but let's talk about Devin Bush and what this means to the Browns. Now, Devin Bush has been a very interesting player. Pretty quick, pretty athletic, can get to, you know, the backfield pretty quickly in terms of, you know, stopping the run, right? But he has not been as good as, you know, he's been since his rookie season, right? His rookie year, 2019, when he was drafted, I believe, in the first round pick number 10 overall, right? That season, he had 109 tackles for the Pittsburgh Steelers, one sack, one forced fumble, four fumble recoveries and two interceptions. During that season, people thought Devin Bush was going to be the next big thing in the NFL at the linebacker position. And then you started to see a big decline after second season when he was injured, only played in five games, and then things never really picked back up. 2021, got about 70 tackles with two sacks. It was okay, right? 2022, 81 tackles, no sacks. Then 2023, a season with the Seattle Seahawks, ended up leaving in the offseason, or maybe he was even traded to Seattle. But either way, played in 13 games, had 37 tackles. And uh, yeah, that was basically it. Since then, he has been under the radar. Nobody's really wanted him until now. The Cleveland Browns, you know, don't have too much money to spend. So they're like, all right, let's go take a shot on a guy who was a top 10 pick and has showed incredible potential during his rookie season now the reason i don't hate this move is strictly because of that potential like we said they they already signed jordan hicks jordan hicks is the ultimate veteran player you want on your football team not only can he plug and play now and be a starter but he can also help develop young guys and this is where devin bush comes in this is why i actually like this signing because you have jordan hicks because you have jeremiah osu koromoa you have some versatility where you don't have to play him a full-time role and i don't think he should get that right away however with that being said it's a low risk high reward situation where Devin Bush, Bush in the past has looked like a really good linebacker, right? So, I mean, when you look at it from the outside looking in, maybe it's a bad deal because you bring in a, a former Steeler who hasn't been that good in the last four years. Um, but this is a guy that knows how to play football. He plays at a high level when he wants to. You just need to get that out of him, right? You need to get out of, out of him at a high level. Now, when you look at the, the Browns roster right now, like I said, you have J-O- or JOK. You have Jordan Hicks. You have, um, you know, Tony Fields. But there's not too much depth behind that. You lose Taki Taki to the New England Patriots. So you need more linebacker help uh, with Mohamed Di, uh, Dibate, or Dibate uh, Caleb Johnson, right? Charlie Thomas, right? you need more depth you need more depth and it's clear as cut clear as day you need them and um they get them i don't know what the deal is i don't know how much money he's making i know it's a one year low risk uh potentially a good deal here for the browns but then you look at their team overall mine as well right zadaria smith miles garrett dalvin thomason quentin jefferson who's gonna be a good addition go watch that video if you haven't already done so shelby harris then you look at the secondary with denzel ward greg newsom martin emerson and then the d uh the safeties grant delpit Juan thornhill this team is insanely good and now you add a guy who could be just as good to this defense I mean, you got to at least try sometimes, and I feel like those are one of those moves. Let me know what you guys think, though. Devin Bush not going to wow you too much unless he really starts to break out, and I guess we'll see what happens. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, join the family as, uh, you know, coincidentally, make an attack here versus Nick Chubb. Hopefully Nick Chubb's back healthy this year. Let's go, Cleveland.